This video is for demonstration purposes only and should not in any way be construed as instructional or advisory in nature. Always get thorough instruction from a recognized professional source before attempting any woodworking project or using any power tools. Hi, I'm Ted from PaintersFramer.com. In this brief video, I'm going to try to give you some insight into how I make frames for artists. The first very important step is to start with good quality wood. I try to hand select each board at a premium hardwoods outlet where cabinet makers and woodworkers go. I normally start with 14 foot boards, bring them back to the shop, and I cut them down. First I trim approximately a sixteenth of an inch off one edge of the board. Next, I run my board through the jointer, which will give me a perfectly straight edge. Back at the table saw, I'm going to cut moldings now for a one and a half inch deep frame. And I'm going to cut them oversized by a sixteenth of an inch. I'll come back and trim them off later. Using a feather board, I will trim off the final sixteenth of an inch, achieving a nice tight true one and a half inch deep molding. I need to know how deep to make my lip in my moldings, so I measure my canvas at this point. In this case, this one is eleven sixteenths of an inch deep. So I make sure my blade height is exactly eleven sixteenths of an inch preferred face on each board and put that edge down. I set my fence on 5 sixteenths of an inch for my first cut. And I run each board through twice to achieve uniform depth. Now I make a mark for my final cut. And the intersecting cut gives us our final molding. Now back to a painting. We need to measure it accurately. This one is actually 13 and 15 sixteenths by 18 and 1 sixteenth even though store bought it is 14 by 18. Now I cross cut the moldings into four pieces adding three inches onto the size of the canvas. I set the saw to 45 degrees, flip the moldings over and I make my first cut. For my second cut allowing a one quarter inch gap all around for the floated canvas. One of the critical elements in framing is to make sure that parallel sides are exactly identical and I use a stop block to achieve this with repeat cuts. With all four pieces cut to size, I now put them in the clamp for a test fit. And I use quarter inch spacers to align the canvas in the frame. Sometimes I do need to go back to the chop saw and make a final adjustment. Now I use the biscuit joiner to cut a slot at each end. Biscuits are finely engineered pieces of wood which give the frame optimum strength. With the biscuit slots cut, the frame is now ready to be glued. And I insert the biscuits. and the frame goes into the clamp. 
and I'll set this frame aside now to, to cure. And good morning. After letting this frame cure overnight, it's ready to come out of the clamps. Next, I tape off the edges so that I can apply the black paint, giving the frame the floated effect. And I trim everything nice and flush. And when the paint is thoroughly dried, my final touch on the frame is to apply a couple of coats of English wax. And finally to mount the work, I will use the old-fashioned method of screws and screw eyes with my quarter-inch spacers temporarily centering the piece. Some heavy-duty hangers and wire and this baby is ready to hang and more importantly ready to sell. Thanks for watching. Still slide locked in, close out now.